Welcome back. Joining us now is Sky CTC Provost Dr. James B. Castlin to talk about Community College Awareness Month. Welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Happy day to you. Thank you. Happy day to you. Well, let's talk about Community College and what this Awareness Month is for Community Absolutely. Colleges. So nationwide uh, this month, April is Community College Awareness Month. Uh, and uh, as you may know, there are 16 independently accredited community and technical colleges in the state of Kentucky. We make up one system, but uh, in the 10 county service area here surrounding South Central Kentucky, Sky CTC is the community college that, that uh, serves our area. Wow, wow. Yeah. So you're, you're the big one around here. We the are. The one to we go are. to. Absolutely. When House Bill 1 was passed in 1997, it formed the Kentucky Community and Technical College System, which took most of UK's community colleges and several standalone technical training institutes, as well as fire rescue science and uh, emergency medical services in the state, and put them all under one umbrella, which is why we have a campus by Warren Central High School, and then right around the corner, another campus that's by <laughs> what I still call the new Walmart, on Morgantown <laughs> Road. And people say, well, why do you have campuses so close? They didn't used to be part of the same system, but over the last 20 years, they've all merged into, into one. Wow. Wow, so tell me the difference between a traditional college and a community college. Sure, so uh, a lot of times in Kentucky probably, uh, when we think of college, we're actually talking about a university. We have eight wonderful public universities and we've got Western Kentucky University uh, right here in Bowling Green. Um, but a community college, uh, those were uh, started several decades ago. It gives people an opportunity to start in a smaller classroom environment, uh, the tuition uh, in the the state of Kentucky, the tuition rate for the community colleges is the lowest in the state. It's about a third of the cost of going to a university. And so the community and technical college system in Kentucky has really two main areas and then there's a third uh, uh, area to that as well. But the first two main areas are uh, technical courses. So for many years, uh, Sky CTC before it became Sky CTC uh, was Bowling Green Technical College. Mm -hmm. And at the time it did welding and HVAC and industrial maintenance technology and uh, licensed practical nursing. Um, we haven't lost uh, that history and we still offer those programs, but about 10 years ago we became a comprehensive community college. So now not only do we offer those programs, but we offer the first two years uh, of general education yeah. for anybody that wants to go in to get a bachelor's degree. Yeah. So again, a uh, little bit smaller class sizes, a uh, more affordable rate, um, and with the um, with the advent of the Pell Grants and the Keys and the Kentucky Work Ready Scholarship, it makes it very affordable for someone to be able to start their educational career regardless of what their outcome might want to be. Yes, and that's wonderful. That is a wonderful thing to have, especially so close. I've got one starting a uh, at Sky CTC next month, and then one going awesome. to university in the fall. So yes, yes. <laughs> um, so we're we're taking advantage of both. The other thing is, uh, particularly in the last ten years, uh, Sky CTC has really started focusing on dual credit opportunities. So yes. in the ten county service area here, we have students who are engaged in a wide variety of dual credit opportunities. Um, which really gives them a, a way to, number one, again, reduce the cost because we only charge 50% of our regular tuition in order to engage in dual credit coursework. Uh, we offer that either in the high school with a qualified high school faculty member who happens to have the master's degree or um, online being taught by one of our full-time faculty members. Uh, so we have many students now who are going to graduate. My own nephew graduated with 30 credit hours, which is half of his associate degree. Yes. So he graduated Wonderful. from the high school, came to Sky CTC for one year, did their business program, and then uh, transferred to Western Kentucky University. He's walking on May the 5th, graduating from the Gordon Ford College of Business three years after high school graduation wow. because of the dual that credit is, that he took. That is yeah. wonderful. Well, Dr. Kaslin, thank you so much for being here. And um, for more information about Sky, CC, Sky CTC, that's it's a little a bit of a tongue twister. Yes, yes. Call 901-1000. We'll be right back.